Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Nova Lui, Head of Investors Advisory at RHV Bank. Thank you for joining us for our Q1 2024 Fund Discoveries idea. To recap the performance for the whole of 2023, developed market indices have did the global market, especially NASDAQ, was up by more than 40%, followed by US S&P 526%, and Euro stocks 50 up by 21%. Chinese equity market continued to disappoint investors in 2023 with HSCI down by 11%, while FTSE China Air 50 was down by close to 9% in the same calendar year. Before we proceed, let's look at the fund flow for the industry in the last quarter of 2023. In Q4, there was influx of funds denominated in US dollar, attributed in Part of the investors' concern about the persistent weakness of ringgit throughout the year of 2023. Malaysia equity fund experienced the most significant outflow among equity funds throughout 2023. Apart from Malaysia equity fund, there was a considerable outflow from various equity funds in the last quarter, spending across global equity, information technology, absolute return, and Asia-Pacific ex-Japan strategies. This outflow partially flows into other equity-related funds focusing on Japan, Singapore, India, and ASEAN region. Within the fixed income sector, there was a clear preference for global fixed income over fixed income specific to Malaysia and the Asia-Pac region. The Chinese equity fund continued to demonstrate outflow in quarter 4, mirroring its performance in Q3. In our assessment for the first quarter of 2024, we hold a slight preference for fixed income over equity. Fixed income's yield is at multi-year high while it's also the most direct beneficiary asset from interest rate cut. Notably, the NASDAQ exhibited a substantial increase of 45% throughout 2023. And this positive momentum in the US equity market, particularly in technology and AI sector, may potentially continue into the beginning of 2024. Anticipating three rate cuts by Federal Reserve in 2024, the market have speculated on a more aggressive count of up to six cuts. This expectation aligns with the perception that accommodative monetary policy tend to have a favorable impact on risky assets. However, investors should maintain a diversified portfolio and accumulate when there is pullback in the equity market. The TA Global Technology Fund established in 2011 and managed by Janet Henderson Investor has demonstrated remarkable performance since its inception, yielding an impressive total return nearing 400%. The fund's strategy primarily focuses on major tech companies aiming to attain returns that surpass the broader market. It concentrates on leveraging powerful circular themes such as fintech, Internet 3.0, next-gen infrastructure, AI and process automation and electrification, all of which are pivotal drivers for sustained growth. For investors who are interested in a global equity fund, do consider the RHV Global Shara Equity Index. This type of fund is designed to track components of financial market indices such as RSB Global Islamic Market Titan 100. Index funds offers broad market exposure, low operating costs, and minimal portfolio turnover. This particular index focuses on the top 50 US stocks, the top 25 European stocks, and the top 25 Asian stocks. These global blue chip companies are financially robust and capable of weathering challenging business environments. The tech sector comprises a significant portion of the index holding, while other diversified sectors including healthcare and consumer discretionary. Real Estate Investment Trust, or REITs, presents the potential for both capital appreciation and income generation. To qualify for favorable tax treatment, REITs are required to distribute a significant portion of their income to shareholders. REITs have historically enjoyed a resurgence in total return performance after monetary policy cycle ends. Despite encountering some negative attention, especially concerning to the shopping mall and office rates, the risk market is actually a wide and sufficiently matured to encompass diverse types of rates. For instance, 
this particular fund has over 50% exposure in industrial and telecom tower rates. As an actively managed fund, the fund manager strategically allocates resources into REITs that are anticipated to perform strongly within their respective categories. In the last two months of 2023, this fund has rebounded by more than 20%. However, investors who yet to invest did not lose out much because the fund is still close to where it started in 2020, 2019, which is just a year before COVID-19. Still on the prospect of red card, we wish to reiterate the potential gain from investing into RHP American Income Fund. Bonds are expected to be the most direct beneficiary in light of potential red card. This fund offers a yield of 7.55% with a duration of 5.91 years. This diversified portfolio of more than 1,000 holdings has its majority exposure in US Treasury, while the fund manager also aims to create excess return from sources like high yield bond and emerging market hard currency bonds. At the feeder fund level, currency hedging is implemented to mitigate foreign currency risks. I trust some of the investors will be asking about the opportunity in Asia. This region has pockets of opportunity in various countries and sectors. Principal Islamic Asia-Pacific Dynamic Equity Fund is a bottom-up fund where major exposures offer good diversification opportunity within Asia such as India, Taiwan and South Korea. The fund has outperformed its benchmark consistently in various periods and the fund may also invest up to 20% of its NAV in companies that are listed globally with some business and operation within Asia Pacific ex Japan region. Thank you for joining our podcast today. I hope my insight has provided valuable information to help you make a more informed investment decision. Please reach out to our relationship manager to explore how these recommendations can be integrated into your diversified portfolio.